Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here. Listen, I messed up. <laughs> well, I didn't mess up. Yes, I did. Listen to me. I did a video on uh, grafting pieces to your apple tree. I did a video on the new golden dorset apple that I have. And I needed some pieces. I got to give a shout out, a big shout out to my friend, Adam Ness. Adam Ness came all the way here to Columbia, South Carolina with a bunch of pieces to graft onto my Golden Dorset apple tree. Now, everybody know the Golden Dorset is one of those trees. It don't have too many trees that can pollinate it, but... It's a tree that's almost like it was made for South Carolina because it only need like 100 to 300 chill hours and it's always producing as you can see it's, it's loaded and they're getting bigger by the minute okay so I got a lot of trees y'all if y'all watch my videos you see I have a lot of trees and my wife said okay take it easy take it easy you know save some for the land that we get and I said okay so I can't keep bringing trees here. So I, I said if I graft on the Anna apple, which pollinates this tree, if I graft a piece of the Anna apple on, I won't have to buy a whole nother tree. So where I messed up is I did a whole video and it was dedicated to my friend, Adam Ness. It came all the way out here. I, I don't know where exactly where he lived, but I know one thing. He said he had to drive an hour and a half here. So, in either direction, that's a hell of a haul. In the rain, it was storming. Adam Ness, you the man. I did a video of grafting it, and guess what? I didn't hear my phone run out of memory. <laughs> and it's like, all you hear me say is, okay, this is what we're gonna do, and then... So, I did this, and I think it took me about 20 minutes or more so we don't have that video footage so i'm going to have to show you another grafting video adam man i'm sorry brother i'm sorry about that but the work is done as you can see these gloves giving the middle finger they giving the middle finger to that horrible unshot video in a way i'm kind of glad it didn't go because it was it stanked anyway but we got it done, and I want you guys to see exactly how it turned out. As you can see, I just took the glove off. See all the green in there? That's what you want to see. When you first do a graph, you want to see some green. Let me zoom in on that. You want to see that green. You want it to stay green. I wrapped the whole thing. I always, people say, it's waste. But you know what? I'll buy some more. I'd rather a successful graft than, you know, worrying about wasted tape. So I did three grafts in the middle of this tree. That was one. Here's another one. As you can see, more green. Still green. God, I wish I would have at least showed you guys. You've seen my grafting videos before, right? If not, go back and check that out because I did the exact same thing with these. Okay? And here's the other graft. So that's three grafts. That should be plenty. So once those start growing, I'll have the Anna apple and the golden dorset on one tree so you don't have to buy so many trees. You know? Sometimes you don't have to do that. You, you, you don't have to buy a bunch of trees. You know, buy one with one or two on it. And I suggest, I suggest you check out a couple of my videos and do it yourself. Once you see how easy it is, you'll kind of go crazy and start grafting everything onto your tree. Instead of going to some of these nurseries or going online to pay for one of those multi-grafted trees, it's like astronomical. And I'm going to tell you something about those multi-grafted trees that you got to watch out for, okay? Especially when you have a multi-grafted apple, a multi-grafted pear that I know for sure. When you get fire blight, you have to cut it out, cut it off, okay? You have to cut that whole branch off. That's the best way. You can. I don't spray chemicals on anything. You guys know that. So I cut it out and I get rid of it. So 
if the branch that has um, the Anna apple on it, it catches fire blight, I got to cut that branch off. That's why I grafted so many pieces. Pear tree, same thing. I got to cut that piece off. If I just had a Bartlett grafted on here, which actually did happen, I got to cut it off. You know, so that graft is gone. So if you buy a multi-budded tree, I mean a multi-grafted tree with several different kinds of fruits on it, what's going to happen is if you got a bunch of different apples, a bunch of different pears, a bunch of different peaches, you may lose some of those peaches and you just paid out the rear end for that tree. So I suggest you learn how to do it yourself, save yourself some money. So since I screwed up that video and wasn't able to record it, I figured this is graft day because I got a lot of good news. That was bad news. Here's the good news, okay? The good news is all of my grafts took that you guys sit and watch me do this spring. Well, winter spring. It's been a weird ass year. So we are gonna run around the yard and I'm gonna show you that. I already showed you that. Oh, I can start right back here. I already showed you that. The Anador, I'ma call it, I'ma call it the Anna Dorset. Because now that's what it is. The Anna and the Golden Dorset grafted tree. That's my Anna Dorset. You know what? That's not bad, huh? That's not bad. So, here you go. Now, everybody watch my video about the beaver bite plum. Did the beaver bit my plum tree down? Okay, I took a graft and it grew back. And it has fruit on it. Only took a year, which was amazing. But go back and watch that video. That's a pretty decent video. I took a piece off of that. Can you believe that? The beaver bit the tree down. And I, it ended up giving me a bunch of pieces to graph only a little bit over a year later. Here you go. I put the beaver bite golden plum. It's actually the Shiro golden plum tree. I grafted that down here, and it's almost time to take that rubber bands and tape off. Here it is, it leafed out. It's ready. It's ready to go. I can get rid of this wax. That's useless now. It's all healed over. Okay, we'll do that right now. Get rid of that wax. But as you can see, that graft took. So now this is the original tree is the Santa Rosa plum. I did that so I can have half red plums on a tree have yellow plums they don't pollinate each other so much just it's just cool looking <laughs> that's all i did that for so that was one graph and that was a big big hard graph too because the wood is so thick that's old wood now here's the little one that i did that's another piece of that shiro plum that i grafted and it's leafed out and it's time for that tape to come off okay that's one. We got the uh, Anna Dorset. We got the Golden, I mean, the uh, Santa Rosa Plum and the Golden Shiro Plum. Now, let's rush up here as fast as I can. I don't want you guys to sit here so long. Uh, I've been doing a lot. Oh, oh, hell. See, I get lost on my own land. Jeez. I got so much stuff going on. I need to cut this grass. That's what I need to do. So, here's another one that won. Okay. I grafted onto the Franken tree. The big tree I always talk about. Originally, it's the Granny Smith. But I grafted on. Let's check them out. The Honey Crisp Apple right here. I haven't put any metal tags on them yet because you never know if they're going to take. So, the Honey Crisp. It's green in there. You can't see it. Let me see, you can't hardly see that. But see how those buds are in lumps now? They did, it This used to be smooth. So that's taking. Here's uh, the Wolf River graft that I did. I took off my tree over there and that's that's starting to bud out. You can, you can see the green in there and the bud coming out. That took Stamen Wine Sap. Grafted that, it's lumping out. Not as much as I would like, but it's lumping. That's that's better than nothing. Now, this one is just, this is really doing good. 
This is the Fuji that I grafted right here. It's that big lump, that's leaves right there, that budded out, so that's wonderful. Even if you get one, that's all you need. That's what this whole tree started out at. One little bud, just that, that made it. And now, as you look up, each one of those is a different kind of apple. All you need is one bud to make it, okay? So, out of all of those, all of them made it. So, I'm telling you, don't go through all those different methods that they do all over the place and all over the country. It's unnecessary. Leave it. To, leave that to the pros. Us, we don't. We don't do it like that. You know. Just do it simple. I'm a simple gardener. That's what I should have called myself, the simple gardener. But people would have thought simple as in <laughs> those <laughs> simple jack, simple. But so I left it alone. Anyway. This is holy shit, another fucking snake. Son of a bitch always almost stepped on it. Fuck eating another frog. <sighs> Fuck. Look at that shit. I'm sorry, y'all. Can you see that? I almost stepped on this motherfucker. Sorry for my language. Can you see that? Let me see if you can see that. I can't change the screen. And it won't let me zoom. Can you see that? That is insane. Can you guys see that? Now, I'm not going to videotape a whole nother snake. I kind of don't even care for the one that I already done. But damn it. I ain't going to lie to you, y'all. That, that, that got me. That. That poked my boo-boo out real good right there. I don't know if I stepped on him or not. Shit, you should feel my legs. I'm feeling like, God, easily island. I got to cut this grass. I'm going to make this video short. I'm cutting this grass, and I might cut a couple of them suckers up too. That's some bullshit. Whew. I'm sorry, y'all. That scared the shit out of me. They getting too comfortable, and that's why my chickens keep screaming in the back. They keep seeing him. Okay, let's get this over with. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm all shook up. I'm not gonna do the Elvis thing, so don't wait for that. Um. Anyway, here is the original, this is my hood pear tree. Should we do this? Should we finish this? Okay, we'll finish it. And then that's it. I got to go in the house. Hood pear tree. I grafted on the 20th century branch right here. And as you can see, it's so budded out. It's ready to start leafing out. And my red sensation, I took a couple of grafts off of it that Nuhuru, Lady Greenfinger, sent me. I took a couple of pieces off of that and grafted it in there. As you can see, it busted out of plastic. So it really took, I took two pieces of that and grafted it onto this tree. So that worked. <sighs> Sorry this video so long, but that just stretched everything out. Ooh. And you know the bad part? The bad, the only thing that really got me going is, man, that could have been one of those doggone uh copperheads i don't want to get rid of him because he's doing the right thing i mean i like the frogs you know but he eat rats and mice too i've been living in this house for over four years and i have never seen a mouse or a rat and it gotta be a reason circle of life right bless that frog so all right, y'all. Live Farmer 73. I'm a little disturbed and grossed out. <laughs> and I'm out. Really, Snake? Sorry for my language, y'all. I was that really scared the mess out of me.